fuck? How do I drop items? How do I get a headshot? How do I aim in this game? Fuck. Chances are, this is you, and I'll try to do a spoiler-free type of introduction to Resident Evil fuck? Remastered to get you started and to kind of help you out. This game is pretty fun, but it can be frustrating for a lot of new people. This game is $20 right now on Steam, and I highly recommend it. Also for console Xbox One and PS4. Um, it was one of my favorite games when I was playing on the GameCube, but today's standards, it'll be really hard and frustrating for some people. A lot of backtracking, if you don't know what you're doing, and a lot of deaths, too. So hopefully, I'll try to do this very non-spoiler. I won't spoil it too much to the game, very little at all, because some of the game, part of the fun is exploration, and just walking through and trying to find where to go. And giving you too much information would ruin the experience, so I highly recommend that you try not looking at too many guides to get through a lot of these areas. And I'll try to give you general tips and tricks to kind of get through the beginning parts of the game. So here you go. Resident Evil. So first of all, how, how do you like your games? Now the first one, number one, is normal mode. Second one is easy, and this is very easy. Although I would love for you guys to uh, do out uh, the normal mode first. Um, most For most of you guys who have never played a Resident Evil game before, and even maybe even like Resident Evil 4 and such, you should probably stick on uh, easy mode here, going on a hike. But for the most part, if you're really confident, do this. Otherwise, yeah, stick with uh, going on a hike. But for this video, I will do the, the normal mode. Now, you have a choice here, Chris or Jill. Each has their up and downs. Chris is able to carry less items, but he starts out with a uh, lighter. Jill has a lockpick and can carry more items and has a grenade launcher. Shinji Mikami, the creator of the game, actually intended you to play as Jill if you want an easier game. And Chris was his favorite character, so he made him very hard. So, for all the new people, stick with Jill. And we're gonna choose Jill. Now, first thing to you know, yes, you don't have a lot of room. This isn't like a third-person shooter or anything. So, if you want, it does have auto aim. So, what if you're unsure where enemy is? Just hold down the tr hold down aim and automatically wherever you do, aim at enemy. So you could do this whenever. So you could just do walk around. You know, see if there's an enemy, just do that. And whoop, well you know there's an enemy there. But you know what? We're not going to shoot it. Because we could just do this. See? You don't need to fight most of the enemies in this game. So let's see what we've done. So when you enter a new room, you could hear them, uh, zombies there. But you don't know where they are, just ought do this. And if you want, you can always press the, the button to, um, to retract the enemies. They'll automatically aim to them. Another thing to note, you do run faster with nothing equipped or the knife. So you could run past enemies, outrun enemies if you want to do that. Another thing to note here is that you could also... Now the knife is not that great in this game, but just to tell you, if you ever do run out of ammo, it is very possible to beat this game with only a knife. So just remember that before restarting. But if you do end up running out of ammo, you might want to rethink that stuff out. Just saying. So let's see, I'm going to get grabbed right here. Now when you do get grabbed, you just twirl, twirl it all around and press a bunch of buttons and get them off. If you don't do it correctly, they'll just keep latching onto you and keep, get a couple more bites off you and you'll run out of health. Another trick is reloading. If you You could always... Do a manual hold hold the trigger, hold the aim, and you can always press a button on there to make yourself real. Or you can always just combine it. They don't tell you this. You can combine it like that. Now headshots, how do they work? Well, they are random. I believe it was said that you have a 10% chance to hit someone in the head with a with a regular pistol. Now you didn't really need to kill those enemies, but I just did, just in case. See, you don't get a lot of ammo in here. 
And there is a shotgun shells, but I'm not going to pick that up. Oh, and it's still alive. It also depends on elevation too. If you're a higher elevation, you have a higher chance to shooting. If you're like, for instance, on the stairs and aiming down, zombies there, you have a higher chance of getting a headshot that way. Again, it is R it is RNG, um, so it is best not to just uh, kill them. With the shotgun, you have the highest percentage of getting a uh, headshot. Doesn't work all the time, but it works most of the time. So what you need to do is that. You probably didn't see it correctly. So I'll see if I could find out again. Let's see if we can try this guy. There we go. So yeah, they have to be facing you face to face like that. So let's see. Now another thing is item management in this game. You'll notice that you can only hold certain things. Ammo will stack. Health items will not stack. And same with unique items like these. You know, and such. Now you should... As you can see, I have way too much crap in here. So what do I recommend? Otherwise, you'll be forced to run all the way back to item boxes um, in order to fucking deal with it. So what do I recommend that you do? Um, first of all, you should probably only have at most two weapons out. One or two. If you want to be safe, you could have, for instance, you could have all pistol ammo in there or you have shotgun ammo instead and you just leave all your ammo and uh, health kits. You can always bring one health kit too with you. And just, unless you're doing a knife run, just get rid of that knife. Now another thing, do I recommend you carrying your fuel canteen on your lighter all the time? Don't really recommend it. You'll have to do a lot of backtracking and you'll always end up having a key with you. And you want to get rid of the key as fast as you can. Um, in order, and it will automatically be, rem items will be removed if you have no other use for them anymore. So as soon as you unlock all the doors needed, you can. Now, if you ever want to wonder, you can always examine items, and it's three-dimensional too. So if you want to find out a little bit about it, like, for instance, this only has a mansion key listed on here. If you want to see what type of key it is, you could examine it. See, there's a sword. So now a cha name changes to the sword key. Now, I don't recommend you carrying the canteen and the lighter. I recommend that you, you don't kill that many uh, zombies throughout the game. So you don't need to light as many, because you'll run out very fast. What you want to do is you want to try avoiding them, run around them. It is very hard. There are small corridors. Now, again, I am playing on a harder difficulty, so there's a lot more zombies here. But you could do things like that, you know, have them dodge throughout. And yeah, you do not. You want to try at least only carrying about three or four items with you, at most. So you don't need a backtrack because you'll constantly be what finding, you? especially on the easier difficulties, you'll constantly be finding ammo and uh, first aid kits throughout the time. So you don't need to have to constantly have these things with you. Okay, now saving. Saving is limited. You only have, you only have ink ribbons to do it. So what you need to do is go here. Now what I recommend you do, and if you watch two best friends play, they'll fucking Pat will fucking drill it in your head all the fucking time. Now ignore all this other crap I have here. What you need to do is rotate your saves. What I mean by that is for instance, there I save there. Now what I mean by what he means by that, if you in case you just don't know who they are, I recommend you watching them. But the, um, first I save there, now let's say I play for another 20 or 30, maybe an hour, you know, you kind of base it on how much progress you make in the game, if you think you made a lot, how low you are, if you're going to fight a boss. Usually if you are going to fight a boss, it'll be pretty clear that you are. Now, you can also, what you do is, instead of overriding the save, you go to this slot and go down there, and you keep doing that, maybe I always do... To me, I feel like there's no point in filling out the whole thing. All you need is probably three slave, save slots, probably. And then once you fill it all out, let's say for instance I already filled this out, then you could just go back and start overriding uh, some of your saves. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, just in case you mess up, you run out of ammo really early, I think you could do better. You can always go back. It is a pain. I've never really had to do that before. But it's always a nice fail-safe just in case. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this great game. 
might not be for everyone. This game is pretty hard. Um, but yeah, it's, um, you know what, it is a classic, so I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> 